Hello, my name is Ed Frawley. My wife and I own Learberg.com. If you've watched our YouTube channel over the last forever, we have a hundred and some thousand subscribers, you've seen me post a lot of videos in the last year dealing with dog aggression. I just released a new online course that I've been working on for almost five months that has 20 hours of video in it, plus a lot of text, over 200 short videos in it. And that's really what this specific video is all about, is just to announce that this course has just been released in April, April 5th of 2023. One of the most common questions we get, and we have a section on our website titled Ask Cindy, and Cindy's my wife, where people can send in a question. They don't need to be a customer of Learberg. Uh, if they have a question on dog training, if they have a question on, on health issues, on breeding, they can go into the Ask Cindy portal and post a question. And we get questions, a lot of them, every day. And every morning, Cindy answers those, those questions that she gets. She helps people with ideas on what they need to learn to handle their problems. Cindy will point them on where to go. And a huge amount of these questions deal with dominant and aggressive dog problems. I will say this, that a lot of people think that they have a dominant dog when they have an aggression, a problem with aggression. And I spend a lot of time in this online course talking about different forms of aggression. Everybody wants to put a label on their dog. My dog is is uh, reactive, my dog is, does fence fighting, my dog is whatever. I got like 23 or 24 different categories in the course where I talk about them. But the important thing is, is that quite frankly, the solution to a lot of these problems are, there's a lot of similarity, a lot of commonality in the solution to fixing dog aggression, even though we break it up into all these different categories. So, Going back to what I was talking about, so many people come to us with aggression problems and these people want to have some kind of a solution. Well, we have it now and it's 20 hours of information and if that's too much information for somebody, they don't have to sit there and watch all 20 hours. It's divided up into these 200 and, uh, well, I'm not totally finished with adding. I still have a few that I'm gonna put in, but at the time that we opened it, it was 204 short videos, like this one that we put in there. So our online courses, and we've been doing online courses since 2015, are divided up into modules and then segments of those modules. And the forms of aggression is a big module in the course, but we also have modules on terminology, we have modules on management and training options, uh, we have modules on training equipment, the good, equipment and the equipment not to use on dog aggression. Um, we have modules on, uh, one whole module and a lot of segments on how to condition a dog to a muzzle, how to measure a dog for a muzzle, and how to, in the conditioning form, how to get your dog to look forward to having a muzzle on. It's a huge thing and it's a huge part of the solution on dealing with dog aggression for people that know they have an aggression problem. We have one of our segments is how to deal with an off-leash dog when your dogs are being walked on leash. That's a big question that we have, and it's an important question to know how to handle it. One of the segments in the course is always have a plan for what you think might happen. Thinking about it ahead of time, and I talk in detail about how to, about how to organize that. It's important. Uh, we, have a question, we have a segment in here on, on dog parts, we were not a big fan of dog parks, and that's gonna, that's gonna make a lot of people unhappy, but that's tough, we're right and they're wrong. Dog parks are a very dangerous place to go. My, I've got a very detailed article that I wrote about how dangerous dog parks are, and one only needs to go and search on Google for dog fights or dog deaths in dog parks. So I have a module on that, I have a module on teaching or a segment on teaching people how to safely break up a dog fight 
if they feel like they can. Some dogfights are simply too dangerous for the people, depending upon the size of the dog, the size of the people involved, how serious the dog, how serious the fight is, how many dogs are in the fight. We go into all of that. Dog, dog fights are extremely dangerous. And if you don't believe me, go to Learberg.com, put a forward slash behind it, and type in dogbites.htm. There's some ugly, ugly pictures there that people like you that watch this video send me and say, will you show this and explain what happened so that people understand how dangerous dogfights can really be. I have a big segment in the, in the course on dogs and children. And I'm not gonna go into it here, but there's a lot that goes into it. And we err on the side of safety with children. It's very, very important. So many people make poor management decisions on their dogs and their kids end up getting bit. Usually they get bit in the face. There's a lot of emails on there from people who have sent in pictures of their children being bit by their dog. And a lot of it's their own dog. It comes under the old category of you're okay until you're not, right up until you're not. So that's an important thing to think of too. We have uh, a module in there on common everyday problems like how to deal with going to the vet, how to deal with the groomer, how to deal with your nails being trimmed, the dog's nails being trimmed when they're showing aggression to it. We talk about these things. So I don't want to go into, I mean, obviously I've talked for 20 hours in this online course and uh, I could go on and on and on and on, but I'm not going to. You can go to Learberg.com and go to our university on Learberg.com and there's a very good video introducing this online course. You can see the outline for all the modules and all the segments in the modules to figure out if it's something that's gonna help you if you have an aggression problem in your dog. Keep in mind what I said in the beginning, don't let the number of hours in this course overwhelm you. You only need to watch the things that you feel you need help with. And when you buy one of our online courses, it's good forever. You will always have access to it. And what I always tell people about, I've been producing dog training videos since 1982. So do the math, that's 41 years. I don't produce dog training videos that are movies. We're not doing a movie for TV. I'm providing training information and you can't get what you need out of watching my videos or my DVDs in one, in one sitting. I tell people, watch them 10 times, take notes, because there's so much information in this, and I've been doing this my whole life. I'm 75 years old, and I've been training dogs seriously for well over 60 years. When I was a little kid, I was training dogs. I had an affinity for it. So if you have an interest and you have an aggressive dog, Go check it out on our website and read about it.